In this video, I will provide you with a couple of things you can do if you want to move some plumbing in a load-bearing wall. For example, you might have a large structural post in the way, or you might be limited to the amount of holes you can drill through the framing studs. Again, this is for a load-bearing wall. Now, you are allowed to drill a couple of holes through some of these wall framing studs. However, you might not be able to drill any holes through a structural post. And I do have another video on that. I'll try to put a link in the video description area. And of course, you could always use this method here if you're just going to be moving it a little bit. And what that little bit measures to, I won't be able to provide you with that information. You're going to have to check with local building authorities or engineers. And if you do need to notch around one of the framing studs, you can always add more framing studs. And instead of a 45, you can always come out of this with a 90. You could 90 out of this, come over and then 90 back with a couple of 90 degree fittings. Or you can always come out of this with a 90 and then come over here with a 45. And most of the time, this fitting won't be necessary. You'll be able to adjust the trap along with the length of the pipe here to get rid of this fitting here. And the reasons why I'm using 45s in my example instead of a 90 degree fitting is because more than likely you're going to need to cut and readjust the sanitary tee here. It's not going to be sticking out into the bathroom here. And if you rotate it to where a 45 degree fitting will work and a 45 degree fitting over here, then you're only going to be using 90 degrees. If I come out of here with a 90, come over here and then come back with a 90, I'm going to be at 180 degrees now for my drain. And drainage wastewater usually flows better with less turns going to flow a little easier through a 45 degree angle than a 90 degree angle. Next up, we're going to fur out the wall so that we can flatten out the wall and hide our plumbing. And you don't need to add another 2x4 wall. You can simply rip down the framing studs to a width that will allow you to cover this wall with drywall or an interior finish. So you can see here where everything is nice and flat. And after we drywall it, we will have our pipes hidden in the walls and we wouldn't have cut any notches into the framing studs. Or if we did cut any notches into the framing studs, we're going to add more framing studs to support the heavy loads above in our load bearing wall. And if you're dealing with something on the exterior, this might work for you or this might work on the interior if you don't mind having something stick out here a little bit or if you're going to have a cabinet on the other side. So again, just another suggestion, you could always just fur out a small section of the wall framing. And I've actually done this a few times while working on remodeling projects. And my last suggestion will be obvious if you can move the plumbing on the inside and cover it with a cabinet, then something like this might work just fine. And if you examine the position of the trap, you can see where we have adjusted it in a little different way to make it work with our pipe and a single 45 degree connector. And to do this, all you need to do is kind of play around with the positioning of the trap. And again, I do have other videos on that. Go to the website, check out some of our plumbing and remodeling videos. And again, something like this will work just fine if it's going to be hidden inside of a cabinet.